Hello, hello everybody. Fox here once again. I'm going to give you a, another one versus one between a Vermont player. I believe it is Coda Chrome, or he, I don't know if he is a U.S. player, but um, they are different names currently. And playing as Vermont player is going to be under Lestan Darte. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Very hard name to present, pronounce. And here in the south position, we have our American player, <laughs> Bodil says Bodhai Drama. So not sure what's up with these names, but they're very hard to see, as you can see on the text now. And it has been five months for my last uh, match that I have casted. If you don't know why, it's because I joined the Air Force. Been in training the whole time. I'm finally on leave, so I can do cast once again, get back to my old life, sort of. But I'll definitely continue to do cast. Um, and that was about the only break I'm going to take. Once I get after my leave, I will continue to do casts. Probably won't be as many as, as uh, usually was when I didn't have a job. But uh, thank you for sticking with me, and we'll get straight into this game here. So it looks like a Vermont player is going to start out with five Pioneers. Um, looks like one is going to be building something. It is the Vermont quarter, so that's going to provide him a lot of capping power in the early game. As you can see, our American player is going to start out with basic two engineers and a rifle squad. Um, the pioneers are going to allow him to take them out very quickly. Any sort of fighting, though, he will be able to overwhelm any of these engineer squads as long as that rifle squad is nowhere near. As you can see in this general area, that rifle squad can easily uh, shoot away these pioneer squads, so you don't want to engage this rifle squad with too many. Just want to keep it busy, busy with just one pioneer squad and have the others cap while all this fighting is going on. Just want to tie up uh, what few units the American player has. As you can see here, he did build barbed wire, and there's going to be a small engagement here. Very wise choice by our American player. Going to go for straight for the strategic point. You can't outcap your opponent, but you can go ahead and cut them off from uh, all of from the left hand side of the map. You can see. I will cut him off from that plus 16 munitions and this other plus 16 munitions that he is currently capping. Um, now our second rifle squad is on the field from our American player. Uh, looks like we have a small engagement over here over in the plus 16 field. I'm not sure he's going to win here. going to check if there are any reinforcements. We do have one pioneer squad coming from our Vermont player, but we do have a rifle squad coming onto the field, so that's probably going to shoot way those easily actually going to try to go for the manpower point instead. Uh, I don't think they're going to be able to get it though. This rifle squad is going to move in pretty close to the pioneer squad. Needs to be careful. He may lose that. Oh, wisely decides to retreat. Not going to take a chance with that strategic point. And keeping this pioneer squad here as long as possible just to tie up these units from doing other things like capping and whatnot. And he should, yes, there he goes. Wisely retreats just in time. So perfect timing on that. Not going to do too much damage. Or losing any units, hopefully not going to lose any units, and this is a win-win for him. Gonna go back here in the south position. Looks like our first unit from the Vermont Corps is out. The MG forcing the rifle squad automatically lose that fight because they cannot take an MG head-on, especially with no bars or grenades. Pretty much got to flank it early game, and then you can come back. Uh, looks like we have another MG over here. Oh, very nice move there. Already expecting the flank, setting up his MG out here. And the rifle squad getting pinned, you can see it says smart, uh, very nice play. Our Vermont player, now this uh, Pioneer squad can try and shoot that up. Almost getting killed there, took quite a bit of hits. Pioneer squad does take extra damage while you're building. Same goes for your Engineer squad or any units really. And uh, that was an, pretty much an easy fight for our Vermont player. Uh, you just really has to rely on positioning these two MGs. He's not building both Grenadier squads yet, actually building a third MG. So he's going very MG heavy. It's really going to come down to the flanking uh, for our American player. I mean, once he flanks one, uh, once he flanks his MGs, he's pretty much lost the fight. These Pioneer squads obviously cannot hold their own. As you can see, he's already trying to go down, trying to decap this fuel point before it dies. Will he be able to get an MG squad? He's going to suppress this rifle squad, which will help out a little bit. But health's getting really, really low there. He needs to retreat it now, and he does manage to retreat it. Very nice play there. We do have a second MG set up over here on the right-hand side, which will prevent any type of flanking. You can see uh, Rifle's already trying to do that, but uh, doesn't look like he's going to move in just yet. going to check the attack map, see what's going on. We do have an engineer squad that did manage to flank that MG squad over here. going to wisely set right back up. You definitely don't want to have any holes in your defense that will allow a window for you, these rifles to go ahead and flank. Once they're flanked, you're pretty much done for. Um, I mean, once one MG is forced to retreat, then this uh, you only have another MG, and they only can cover so much area. 
So looks like the map is pretty even so far. Actually, our Vermont player managed did manage to cap these two points right next to the American Bears' place. And here we have our second engagement, two pioneer squads, uh, somewhat down in health, but they should be fine against the rifle squad. The rifle squad does have bars. Oh no, automatically losing the pioneer squad. Um, I thought they were okay, but once I saw that bar upgrade, yeah, obviously they got to work pretty quick when they got that close. MG squad though will force in their retreat, but the American player actually came out ahead in that because he did manage to get the kill. Gonna go back to the right hand side, looks like MG's once again winning the fight for our mock player. So he's just doing a slow steady push so far. Gonna go back here on the left hand side, we do have another fight. Uh, do we have any MG set up? No, they're actually out of position right now. The MGs are gonna set up. Uh, the left MG has set up in the correct position, however, is being flanked by the bar, so this one needs to book it out of here right now or else he's gonna lose that MG squad. He does. Uh, however, it's gonna get chased down. I'm gonna follow that, see if he gets chased down. Oh, down the one guy. Oh no, he's gonna lose it. Oh, unfortunately, loses that. And once again, the American player comes out in the head. Uh, he does manage to force the retreat, but actually, he did not because this rival squad is still up here on the north hand side. And unfortunately, he's gonna quickly get taken out by that rifle squad because of that bar upgrade. Will it manage to get away? We do have an MG up here in the north that will be able to suppress it. And it's barely going to get away because of this MG squad. Saving grace. And going back to the attack map, it looks like uh, that squad is definitely going to have to retreat. And this rifle squad wisely backs off and will continue to cap. It's not like those MGs will be there anytime soon. You might as well take advantage of it. Uh, going here on the right hand side, while all this fighting was going on, the Vermont player did use the left hand, he lose that battle on the left hand side of the match, but he took advantage of that and managed to come over here on the right hand side and begin to cut him off. He's actually not cutting him off just yet, did stick an MG into that building, and going on the left hand side, more fighting going on. Uh, unfortunately, oh, the grenade going off, will it take out the MG squad? Oh, and it does, down the one guy for that rifle squad. He needs to retreat it though before he loses to the pioneer squad, they do have the veteran upgrades, so they do. Uh, it's going to be a little bit better. Trying to go for the MG, actually. I'm not sure he's going to be able to get that Pioneer Squad. May take it out before he does get it. He's retreated. There he goes. Finally retreats. I think he's busy somewhere else over here on the right-hand side. Unfortunately, it looks like the Engineer Squad is going to get picked off. Trying to cut that barber off. They do get in, but um, they probably managed to decap it before they have to book it out of here. Especially with uh, the MG focusing on this rifle squad that uh, is currently forced to retreat. So, yes, he will get the decap. And... Doesn't look like the MG actually has range. Oh yeah, there it goes. Barely has range for it, and now they're gonna get torn up. So <laughs> I guess I only had range for one guy. I'm gonna go back here in the middle. Looks like MG trying to set up, but it does not set up in time. And actually, the guy gets picked off. So all oh, this MG is definitely gonna go down here. I do not see it living. The rifle squad trying to try to chase it down, actually blocking it. Very nice micro out there, and it goes down. So that's two MGs already lost. At least from what I've seen, including that Pioneer Squad from the very beginning of the game. That will hurt him really bad. That's two MGs he could be covering here down the middle and somewhere over here on the right hand side, you know. I'm um, going to go back here on the left hand side. Looks like. I'm going to check the map, actually. Oh, we got a Rifle Squad all the way in our uh, Vermox player's base. If you don't know how he got in there, he just walked in. Follow my mouse cursor. Just walk in right here. There's a little hole. And then just follow it upwards. So you can walk into your opponent's base. I'm not sure what a Vermont player will be able to do here. Because if he retreats any units, obviously if they're retreated, they're going to be damaged here. There's actually a Pioneer Squad going to retreat. And this MGs, I mean, they're not like Volksgrandeers or anything like that. So it takes a little bit of time to set up. They could go in their headquarters, so they should be fine if they did do that. There's actually an MG just popped out of the Vermont quarters. Should be able to set up and mop up this rifle squad unless he notices in time. He does notice it. Um, maybe maybe he doesn't, I don't know. But he is charging it. I don't think it's going to work out for the father and pops. For sure. He does manage to throw a grenade. I don't think that's going to kill it though. It does quite a bit of damage. Doesn't lose any guys and the rifle squad is going to be forced to retreat. Or he's going to lose it here. He needs to retreat now. Oh no, it gets pinned and will it get killed by this MG bunker? And yes, they should be fine. Actually more fighting over here going in the south position. Looks like our American player is actually trying to make a move. Uh, here on the right hand side they did get suppressed however uh, more rifles moving in managed to flank that MG and that provides more holes into the defensive line of Vermont player and he's in a full retreat now so looks like our American player just dominating the left hand side uh, MGs are trying to set up and do what they can all the way pinned back to the back of their base to stop this uh, 
blitzed by this American player, and they do manage to stop him. However, they stopped him on the edge of the base. It really doesn't matter because the American player is backing off and continuing to cap the entire left-hand side of the map. But meanwhile, on the right-hand side of the map, man, mines are just going off. I keep missing it. Sorry for that. Uh, looks like he lost four guys to that. Um, I don't think he lost any squads. Going to go back up here in the north. Looks like our Vermont player is ready to move out. Fully reinforced MGs as well as two Pioneer squads. Uh, and first MG is going to set out and shoot away that rifle squad. Um, actually almost killing another Pioneer squad. Doing quite a bit of damage. Forcing one to retreat. So um, he does know the MGs are on the move. He's going to try to get uh, try to get in position. However, they all are currently retreating. So he's just going to actually kind of give up the left hand side of the map. Not enough units to flank all, flank all these MGs, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six MGs on the field. Wow. And you can kind of see, he is starting to set up here. Looks like another mine going off, forcing another retreat. Very nice mine placement. Actually placing another mine up here. That's going to be useful uh, later into the game, obviously, because uh, our American player here is going to go for that plus six and fuel eventually. So... I mean, he's got, let's check his MG setup. So he's got one here on the right-hand side, covering a good portion of the play. Whoa. And he's actually got two mines right here as well. And he's got an MG in the middle, covering down the middle. He's got MGs here on the left-hand side, a little out of position at the moment, but he is adjusting that right now. He does have another MG coming out of his base. So uh, going to set up an MG here on the left-hand side. Does he have any in position? Uh, the Pioneer Squad are going to take on the Engineer Squad, but they do have the support of the MG here in the back. Why does he go to that yellow cover? Engineer Squad is going to have to retreat. Do we have any support? Yes, we do have that one Rifle Squad. The rifle Squad really can't do much. He needs to stay very careful. He needs to stay right here so they don't move in too far and get suppressed. Just pick off that Pioneer Squad. Keep them away from your fuel point at the moment while you allow your other forces to get in position. Actually, they're all going to go for a right-hand side push. And this rifle squad is a no-go. Unfortunately, there's just way too many MGs set up here. And, yeah, I'm going to check the right-hand side. Looks like he did hit that mine. It looked like it did too much. Or he did force a retreat on one rifle squad, actually. This is a new rifle squad that is moving in. He's going to go ahead and try to cap that. However, an MG is going to set up here in the north. Oh, this is going to be huge. He's going to uh, suppress two squads, unfortunately. I'm oh, getting a little lag, FPS lag there. Um, so that's a little unfortunate that he bunched them up there right here on one point. Then check in the left hand side. Got some more fighting for the left. Fogland actually popped. Um, wow, that MG, it took quite a bit of damage. It needs to be careful. This one rifle squad can kind of brute force through that and start taking it down. However, they get pinned, so they should easily be taken care of. Uh, going back here on the right hand side, once again, they're actually going to get the decap here. Two MGs setting up now. And he will get the decap. I wonder if he's going to try to go for the cap. No, they were pinned in uh, great timing there on that retreat. So it is paying off here. It looks like we got kind of a World War One going on here. Um, after this fight here, I'll just show you what I mean. If you didn't see it already, the, the map is actually split right down the middle. And our Vermont player has MGs straight uh, placed across the map here in a line. So our American player really can't attack, and a Vermont player really can't attack. You can't really attack with MGs. You got you, if you're gonna attack with MGs, you gotta do it slow and steady. Because if you have a hole in your defense, that American player is gonna take advantage of that and uh, punch through that hole and start flanking all your MGs, and then your whole line is just gonna shatter and fall apart. And he's gonna move through the middle. This is not gonna work at all. This MGs are gonna happily suppress all these units here, especially in the negative cover. You wanna move your units here on the side. So they don't uh, have that negative cover. They won't have any cover on the side, but at least they're not in negative cover, as I said earlier. So here, back here on the right-hand side, it looks like MG once again uh, shooting away that rifle squad. He's actually going to start pushing. So you can see he's slowly moving up, only a few MGs at a time. You know, not going to move all of them. Oh no! Oh no! And the engineer squad, as I said, he has found a hole in his line. He has managed to flank. One MG, and now this MG is in big trouble. Force retreat, and now we have a hole over here, right here on the right hand side. Rifles going to take advantage of that he sees the opportunity. All the rifles are moving in now. Uh, the MG has set up, but is facing the wrong direction, trying to take out that medic bunker. Actually, that was set up, uh, must have been set up quite a while ago. It looks like it's just one more body, and it will provide a rifle squad. Looks like we have to move. Can these MG set up in time? Uh, rem remember, he does have grenades, so a few grenades here can be a huge mess. Ow, man! Getting sandwiched by flamethrowers and another rifle squad up here in north position, so he's in full retreat. Unfortunately, he did, was not able to 
push and keep the holes closed. And losing that entire left hand side of the map actually so he can easily capitalize on this more than enough units to 3 cap uh, right away. Here on the right hand side though our Vermont player wisely once again during that entire fighting, going to move squads over here on the right hand side, going to cap the VP. VPs are 450, 428. So it is a pretty, pretty even game so far. Once again, setting up mines, a strategic point. Hasn't capped that yet. Hopefully, he caps that sooner or later. Going to go back here on the left hand side. Um, this is pretty expected when he's starting to cap unit, cap points near your opponent's base that has about 5 MGs yet. Yeah, you are going to get suppressed, but he should be fine. It's, it's just going to take a few hits here. But he should be able to get it. Oh, he did get pinned. But actually, it was just way too many MGs. So he didn't manage to get the plus 16 munitions because he was pinned or the manpower point over here. But he did manage to get that fuel point. So that is actually a big hit for our American player. Going to go back here on the right hand side. Looks like our rifle squad managed to get the building here. And our MG squad's in trouble. We're going to definitely have to retreat. Even that triple vigilancy is not going to save you. Uh, actually, it had a flanking pioneer squad here, but it's not doing much. Come back here in the north. Uh, looks like we have more fighting. Just so much fighting everywhere. I've never seen so many MGs in one game. Uh, the rifle squad in here in a little trouble. Must be really annoying for American player because um, so you gotta have. I'd at least get a jeep here. A jeep would help him a lot. Uh, not that you can. I mean, one, you can flank these MGs. Two, you can get some good scouting information. Uh, take a few hits, just run the jeep through his line and kind of see where his enemies are placed and try to find that hole instead of taking damage uh, kind of guessing with your rifle squads and if you don't manage to find that hole the first time, oh no, he saved that thought, here comes a mine, ouch I th yeah, I think he lost the rifle squad there and actually will probably force one to retreat as I was saying, uh, the jeep to find the holes there instead of using his rifle squads, you know, take some damage and you know, if you don't find that hole and you get all your units suppressed, you're going to have to retreat, and that's more times on your VPs and whatnot. But anyway, here we go. We have the Vermont player moving in with his two Pioneer squads. They do have the Flamethrower upgrades. They're very, very deadly. Even two rifles with bars. Uh, we do have a nice little push here. Oh, we actually have a sniper from our American player. He hasn't, I have not checked tech in a while. He did build a weapon support center, actually building something else. Our Vermont player is actually not building anything, he's actually building a bike, so realizing there's a sniper on the field, uh, gets a bike right away and actually has a very nice move by our American player, because the sniper, um, you can get that scouting information I said he, earlier that a jeep could do, but it can also just pick away at these MGs and the Vermont player really doesn't have an answer for that sniper. I mean, the next best thing, if you don't have an answer for a sniper, is just to bum rush it with your, your units. But the only thing he can really, jeez, this is nasty, um, getting pinned back in your base, doing a full retreat here, even the sniper trying to crawl up there, only has three kills, but uh, the Vermont player realizing that sniper is in the field, uh, wisely retreats, and the bike actually here is going to try to get it, but no, that is a no-go. What I was saying earlier, you're trying to bum rush that sniper, but what is he going to bum rush it? You can't bum rush it with an MG, the MG takes time to set up. Um, you can't bomb rush it with your pioneers because they're just way too weak. Only two guys per squad. Yeah, he's gonna get taken out pretty quick, especially with all these rifles here. As long as the rifles stick with the, uh, excuse me, the snipers stick with the rifle squad, you should be good. You can slow, do a slow, steady push, to picking off these MGs, and reclaim the map. So we'll see how the Vermont player answers to that. The only thing he has answered is a bike, but the G. I mean, that's. that's I don't know how well that's gonna do well for him. But he did just go up to the skirmish phase, so he may try to get motors, I don't know. He could use counter snipers, or he's just going to fast tech into tanks or something like that. And just try to hang on as long as possible with these MGs, and uh, they are doing pretty well. May take out another... Oh no, he's definitely going to lose that rifle squad. I do not see it surviving, and actually giving a bar for our Vermont player. For any uh, Pioneer squad that wants to take it. So here we go, fighting in the middle. MGs once again pinning it, but here goes our snipers going to work. One shot. Uh, one shot already forcing him to retreat. A second shot, uh, I mean, they die very quickly. So he had to retreat early, or he was in danger of losing the MG squad. So now snipers here are gonna move in the north. One shot kill already. Oh no, he's got to set up and then unset up to retreat. Definitely probably gonna lose that MG squad. One more shot, and he's definitely gonna be taken out. Ooh, why do they retreat? All oh, the jeep bike coming in from behind, saving the day. However, the rifle's doing way too much damage, taking out the bike. Look at those physics. Go to work. See the rims of that bike spinning off into the wild so um, 
So now he definitely doesn't have an answer for our Vermont player. Really, he does manage to hold off our American player, but you can see he's slowly doing a push, cutting off our Vermont player here. Manages to reclaim a little bit of the right-hand side of the map, and the VPs are favoring him. Uh, Vermont player really can't push. I mean, it's just his MGs, just a lot of MGs. I mean, um, he he can't push, but it's gonna be very very slow and steady, especially with these Pioneer squads just sitting in his base, fully reinforced. Uh, two with the flamethrower upgrade and they have triple veterans. He's not sure why they're sitting there. Maybe he's busy uh, setting up his MGs or something like that. We do have a fight over here on the right hand side, however. Uh, rifles once again trying to decap this plus 16 fuel. Doesn't look like I can have him. They can kind of brute force this if they want to. Might be able to. We do have battle phase for Vermont player, by the way. So you can, uh, throw a grenade over there. They are pretty low on health. Let's see if he can do it. Right. Is he in range? Let's still watch for that animation. No, they are pinned, unfortunately, so that's not gonna happen. Gonna go over here where the uh, snipers are uh, doing their action here. Oh, down the two guys here. The MG gonna have to retreat. Snipers going to town on this other MG for the Fatherland does pop. Everyone's squad actually uh, flew in here and oh no, will he lose? That's very very expensive. And he does manage to force the retreat. That's so it looks like the Airborne squad definitely paid for itself by distracting that MG earlier and probably forced it to face the other way allowing his units to come over here and flank as you can see they're capping the close six munitions going on back over here to the right hand side we have another fight or that continuing fight right two rifle squads joining here come the mines though there's two mines right here will he step on it yes he does oh man lots of damage done there will the mg manage to kill off all these units we have more fighting over here the snipers uh sniping one two three and he did lose a unit I don't, I'm not sure we lost going back on the right hand side. Does manage to force that MG to retreat. There's so much going on in this one game. However, he may lose these rifle squads. They're so low on health. One and one for each squad. Actually deciding to cap with him, not going to retreat. He definitely wants those points for some reason. Um, I guess, yeah, he does feel safe because that rifle squad and those two snipers forced to retreat on the last unit here on the right hand side. And you can see these two guys. You know they're so low, they're free to cap these 2 plus 16s and because all the units are in the Vermox base right now. Not sure what he's doing. I mean, they're all kind of set up here. It looks pretty and all, but um, looks are not going to win you the game. That looks cool, but I, I don't know what he's trying to do there. He's got 5 MGs set up. He is building a Panzer Command, and I think he really, really should do something. At least throw a few MGs out here. Uh, you to hold him off to kind of slow down your opponent's capping car right now because he has free reign and he is taking advantage of that. You can see if he's going to throw two units here that are close to dying to cap him, that's how secure he feels. He's going to start capping these. He's capping. He's capitalizing on the left hand side. Just about to capitalize on the right hand side. Um, the VPs are pretty high though, so the uh, Vermont player probably doesn't care as much. If they were lower, he'd probably be definitely moving on this field right away. So taking this time to fully reinforce the entire force, let's see how he does. It's a lot of freaking MGs here. Not one Volksgrandeer squad on the field. Just MGs and Pioneers actually building his first tank. So it'll be his, uh, I guess not his first vehicle because he did build a bike, but first official awesome vehicle. And he's probably just waiting for that tank is what it was. So now MGs are going to set up here. You can see he's going to leapfrog the MGs. Very smart there. Set up these MGs, allow the MGs in the back to move up, and then just slowly do a nice... A uh, nice smart push. However, the two snipers are still here on the field, and they can stop that push easily. Especially these airborne, they do have the run up ability. Uh, they can just run by an MG, throw a grenade, and then here goes. There's a shot by that sniper. Uh, we do have rifles over here trying to flank. Unfortunately, going to be cleaned up easily. Snipers though countering that MG. Um, they need to start focus firing these pioneers though before they move on to the snipers or any use. Oh, and the strafing run coming in, actually not doing as much damage as I thought. Only knocking uh, one Pioneer Squad down to one. We have the MGs here. One almost dying. Three MGs total. Uh, just firing away on this building over here. The tank trying to do some damage and it looks like it will. Do these uh, airborne have recordless rifles? No he doesn't. So our American player does not have an answer to this tank. I don't think. He does have the AT gun over here just now landing. As you can see he was not uh, I wouldn't say exactly unprepared for it. He did go to the Airborne Doctor and he had Manpire saved up for this AT gun. I don't know if that was planned or it just worked out like that. Oh no, the sniper's in very deep trouble. Uh, the bike has found it, the tank has found it, the MG 